Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go through a coordinate geometry exam that covers the line and the circle uh, that I gave to my fifth year students. Um, and I'm going to give the marks uh, for each question along with it um, to show uh, where the marks are going at each stage. Okay, so um, first question here is uh, the point minus 2k is on the circle x squared minus or x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equal to 65. Find the two possible values of k, where k is an element of z. So if we have a point on the circle, then we can sub in for x and for y uh, in here. Okay, so that would be uh, x minus 2. So that would be minus 2 minus 2 squared uh, plus y is k. So k minus 3 squared is equal to 65. Okay, so minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4. Minus 4 squared is 16 plus k minus 3 squared. I'm going to leave that like that for a second, uh, equal to 65. I can take 16 from both sides to get k minus 3 squared is equal to 65 minus 16, which is 49. So that's 49. So then at this stage, I can uh, take the square root of both sides. So if I take the square root of uh, k minus 3 squared, I get k minus 3. And if I take the square root of 49, it's plus or minus the square root of 49, which is 7. So that gives me my two uh, equations, k minus 3 equals 7 and k minus 3 equals minus 7. So that means k is equal to 4 and k is equal to minus 7 uh, plus 3 which is minus 4. Uh, sorry that obviously should be k equal to 10, 7 plus 3, uh, k equal to 10 and k equal to minus 4. So where did the marks go in this question? Um, so you're either going to get 0 four, seven, or 10 marks. Okay, so zero marks if you got nothing right. Uh, your four marks are if you did some sort sort of substitution in here. So if you if you did this line, you'll get four marks, okay? Um, if you did something to do with the center or the radius of the circle, you'll also get four marks. Uh, to get seven marks, you need to have an equation in k squared, so that would be uh, this line here, or this line here will actually get you seven. So that would be four, that would be seven, and then your 10 marks are for getting the two answers correctly, um, both answers uh, correct for 10 marks. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next part. So the next question, The circle S is in the first quadrant. It touches both the X and Y axes. Uh, the line T, which is 3X minus 4Y plus 6 equal to 0, is tangent to S as shown. Find the equation of S. Okay, so when we're looking at this one, uh, if we have a circle in the first quadrant and it's touching both the X axis and the Y axis, uh, the center that is usually minus G minus F is actually uh, minus g minus g. So we can say the center is minus g minus g. And the radius, the radius is equal to g. Okay, so if it's minus g minus g, the radius is the positive value uh, of it, uh, which is g. Now, the perpendicular distance then from the center to the line, the perpendicular distance, that's going to be g. And it's from the point minus g minus g. Okay, so perpendicular distance formula then uh, from the log tables. Okay, so I have it here, perpendicular distance from a point to a line is the absolute value of ax1 plus by1 plus c over the square root of a squared plus b squared. So 
in this case, we have, uh, let me see, the line is uh, 3x minus 4y plus uh, 6 is equal to 0. So that's uh, A, B, and C. And then we have x1, y1 is minus g uh, and minus g. Okay, so we can sub into the formula then the absolute value of ax1, so that's 3 times minus g uh, plus by1, so plus minus 4 times minus g, and then uh, plus c, so c is 6 plus 6, and that's all over uh, the square root of a squared plus b squared. So a squared is uh, 3, so that's 3 squared, uh, plus minus 4 squared. And then that's equal to the distance, which is the radius. So it's equal to g. Um, so, okay, so let's do a bit of tidying up here uh, in this. So uh, 3 times minus uh, g is minus 3 g uh, minus 4 times minus g is plus 4 g uh, plus 6 still absolute value over the square root of 3 squared is 9 and 4 squared is 16 that's equal to g then tidying up a bit more uh, minus g minus 3 g plus 4 g is just g so g plus 6 the absolute value of that over the square root of 9 plus 16 that's the square root of 25, so that's just 5 is equal to g. Then I can multiply across by 5. The absolute value of g plus 6 is equal to 5g. And then at this stage, because it's absolute value, um, I can either go and square both sides, or I can say that g plus 6 is equal to plus or minus 5g. So that gives me two equations, uh, g plus 6 is equal to 5g, so that means uh, 6 is equal to 5g minus g is 4g, so g is equal to 6 over 4, which is 1.5, that's one value for g, and then the other value for g would be g plus 6 is equal to minus 5g, so 6 is equal to minus 6g. So then g is equal to minus 1. So we've got two values for g. And then uh, we need to actually just find the equation of the circle. So the equation of the circle. Let's sub in uh, g equal to minus 1. So the center remember, is minus g minus g. So that's minus minus one so that's actually one one which makes a bit more sense now when you look at it because you were probably thinking how is it minus g minus g there well that's how so it's center one one and radius is uh, also going to be one now um now obviously we had uh, early on radius is g but radius is is actually the absolute value of g so if the absolute value of minus g or of minus one is is one. So what is the uh, equation of this circle then? It's x minus one squared plus uh, y minus one squared is equal to one. Or you can go and multiply that out if you want. Um, now you might think, okay, there's another one. What about one point five? Well, if we subbed in 1.5, remember, because we've got two answers down here. What if we subbed in g is equal to 1.5? Well, that would be center of minus 1.5 minus 1.5. But we're told that it's in the first quadrant. So that one does not count. Only this one counts. OK, so where are your marks going in this one? So you're either getting 0 5, 7, 11, or 15. So if you got nothing uh, right, then you're getting zero marks, obviously. So for your low partial credit to get five marks, uh, you need to have identified the center 
as minus g minus g to get your mid partial credit which is your seven marks you have to have substitution into the perpendicular uh, distance formula uh, completed or have the perpendicular distance of the center to the tangent um, with some substitution so you have to have this formula here to get your seven marks um, and have some write down the for if you write down the formula and sub some things into it you'll get your seven marks uh, for your 11 marks you need an equation in g so you need to be down to i would say this stage here for your 11 marks sorry you can see that so that stage there to get your 11 marks and then for your 15 marks you need to finish it off and get the final answer okay on to the next one then uh, so the line m which is uh, 2x plus 3y plus 1 equal to 0 is parallel to the line n which is 2x plus 3y minus 51 equal to 0 verify that a minus 2 1 is on m so to verify that a point is on a line all you do is sub in so that'd be 2 times minus 2 plus 3 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 so that's minus 4 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 0 and that's true um, for that uh, that is worth um, actually that was worth quite a few marks um, for some reason uh, it was worth 10 marks so 0 3 7 or 10 marks so for your low partial credit for three marks substitute for x or y into the equation so one of your substitutions will get you three marks uh, for seven marks sub for x and y um, into the left hand side of the equation for seven marks so just subbing in and then working it out to get your 10 marks so that was actually a very very easy 10 marks to get uh, for that exam question now for the next part, uh, find the coordinates of B, the point on the line N closest to A as shown. So find the coordinates of B, this one here, uh, that is closest to the uh, line M, uh, that's closest to this point A, or the point A we know is minus two, one. Uh, there, okay, so for that, uh, what we need to do is, is figure out um, we can figure out maybe the equation of this line we have the equation of this line here n if we figure out the equation of this line a b then we can just solve some simultaneous equations so what do we know about the line a b well it has a point uh, minus 2 1 and a slope we don't know what it is but we can figure that out because we know the slope of n, so n is, let me just write it here, 2x plus 3y minus 51 equal to 0. So if we write that as y equal to mx plus c, so that would be y equal to minus 2x plus 51, and they're divided by the uh, 3, divided by 3. So m is equal to minus two over three. So that means my perpendicular m up here is three over two. So I have, this is for a, b. I have the point minus two, one, and I have the slope of three over two. So that uh, subbing in to uh, y minus uh, y one equals m, times x minus x1 I get y minus 1 is equal to 3 over 2 uh, times x minus minus 2 so we can just say uh, x plus 2 so that's the equation of a b I also have the equation of n again which was uh, this y equals minus 2 over 3x plus 51 over 3. So I have two equations, two unknowns. 
I can solve simultaneous equations uh, to find them. So to just write these in the simplest forms, uh, this one, the top equation is uh, in its simplest form is 3x plus, uh, sorry, 3x minus 2y plus 8 is equal to 0. And this one here was uh, 2x plus 3y minus 51 is equal to 0. So solve them simultaneously. Uh, I would eliminate the y's. So I'm going to multiply that by 3 and that by 2. So that'll give me 9x uh, minus 6y plus 24 is equal to 0. Down here, I get uh, 4x plus 6y minus 102 is equal to 0. The y's cancel. What do I get? I get 13x uh, minus 102 plus 24. That's going to be minus 78 equal to 0. So then 13x is equal to 78. So x is equal to 78 divided by 13. And 13 will go into 78 six times. Then we just need to find our y. So we can take any of these equations. Let's take this one here. So 2 times uh, 6 plus 3y minus 51 is equal to 0. You end up working through that, you get uh, y is equal to 13. So the point B, B is now the point 6, 13. That's what we were looking for at the start. So uh, marks for this one, again, this is worth 10 marks. So it's either 0, 3, 5, 8, or 10. Those are the options. So for your low partial credit for three marks, you need to have the slope of AB. So you need to have um, that there, your three over two. Um, or you can have your equation of the line formula uh, here with some sort of substitution. So maybe you got M wrong, but you have the equation of the line formula with some substitution that'll get you three. Uh, for five marks, you need the equation of AB which was this here, wasn't it? Uh, that one, or actually down further, this one here. You need that there for your five marks. For eight marks, then uh, you need to have some sort of attempt at simultaneous equations. And then for your 10 marks, you need to find the point B, which is 6, 13. Okay, so onto part C of this uh, question. Two touching circles, S and T, are shown in, in the diagram. M is a tangent to S at A, and N is a tangent to T at B. The ratio of the radius of S to the radius of T is 1 is to 3. So the radius of this compared to the radius of this, this one is 3 times bigger than this one. Uh, find the equation of S. Okay, well, to find the equation of S, we're going to need two things. We're going to need the center point, and we're going to need the radius. Okay, so how can we find them? Well, what information do we have? Uh, we know from the last uh, part, part B, uh, that the coordinates of A are minus 2, 1, and we know that the coordinates of B are 6, 13. Now, if we're also told about this uh, ratio here, 1 is to 3, so if this is 1 and this is 3. This here is also 1 and this is also 3. So we could actually break this down to 1 is to 7. So we have a 1 is to 7 uh, ratio there. Um, and we can use the formula to uh, internally divide this line in a ratio of 1 is to 7 between uh, minus 2, 1 and 6, 13. So the formula I use is uh, bx1 plus ax2 over b plus a and by1 plus ay2 over b plus a. So in this case, uh, b is my 7, 
uh, x1 is minus 2, so that's 7 times minus 2. Uh, a is my 1, and x2 is 6 over b plus a, which is 7 plus 1. And then the other coordinate then, b, y, 1, so that's 7 times 1 plus a, which is uh, 1 times y2, which is 13, over 7 plus 1. So you work through that, and on this side you end up with minus 8 over 8, which is one, uh, minus 1, and on this side you end up with 20 over 8, which is 2.5. So the coordinates of the centre we've just found as minus 1 and 2.5. Now, to, um, to get the, the equation of the circle, the other thing I needed was the radius. So the radius, well, that's going to be the same as the distance from the center to this point, minus 2, 1. So um, distance from uh, minus 2, 1 to uh, minus 1, 2.5. So from the center to that uh, point A. So we use the distance formula, so it's the square root of uh, minus 1 plus 2 squared plus 2.5 minus 1 squared. And that's equal to the square root of 3.25. Now, um, I'm going to leave it as a uh, square root of 3.25 uh, because when I put it into the equation of a circle now, The equation of the circle um, is going to be x plus 1 squared plus y minus 2.5 squared. So the change the sign of the first one, change the sign of the second one, that's where the, that's coming from. Uh, and that's equal to the square root of 3.25, which is going to be squared or squared as well. So then I can change it now x plus 1 squared plus y minus 2.5 squared is equal to 3.25. So marks for this, you're either getting 0, 2, 4, or 5. So 0, if you've done nothing uh, right, you're going to get your low partial credit, which is 2. If you have uh, some relevant use of um, some relevant use of the ratio uh, one is to seven or even the ratio of one is to three they'll give you the, the low partial credits for that uh, the high partial credit is if you found the center and the radius of the circle and then your full marks five marks for getting the equation of the circle there like that Okay, then uh, the last question, question four. Uh, we have three points, 0, 0, 6.5, 0, and 10, 7. There are three points on a circle. Find the equation of the circle. So remember that if we have three points on a circle, that means they are on the circumference of the circle somewhere. So that's just a, a rough sketch of what they might uh, look like. To find the equation of the circle, we use the general equation, which is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. And what we do is we sub in for x and y, the first one. Then we do the next one, x and y. And then we do the last one, x and y. So we'll do the first one first. And we sub in, so that'll be 0 squared plus 0 squared plus 2g times 0 plus 2f times 0 plus c is equal to 0. So that's 0, that's 0. This here is 0, 2g G times 0, that's 0. Uh, 2f times 0 is 0. So we're left with c is equal to 0. So that's a good start because now we can fill that in uh, straight away and we know that there's no C in the question. 
usually we get three simultaneous equations. In this case, we're only actually going to get two because c is equal to zero. Uh, for equation two, then, we're going to sub in 6.5 and zero. So that'll be 6.5 squared plus zero squared plus 2g times 6.5 plus 2f times zero and we know c is zero so we can put it in if you like or we can just leave it out uh, but that's what you get when you sub in 6.5 and zero and then working through that uh, 6.5 squared is 42.25 zero squared is zero so we'll leave that uh, 2g by 6.5 is plus 13g that's zero and that's zero. So that's equal to zero. So I can say 13 G is equal to minus 42.5. So we're actually not even going to get simultaneous equations in this one. It's great. We can just say G is equal to minus 42.5 over 13. And that works out to be minus 3.25. So have g is equal to minus 3.25 all i need now is to find f i'll find f by subbing in for uh, the point c which is 10 7 so 3 to point 10 7 so that'll be 10 squared plus 7 squared plus 2 times g now we know g is minus 3.25 and then uh, it's 2g times x, so that's times 10, uh, plus 2f times y, y is 7, and plus the c, which was 0, is equal to 0. So that gives us 100, uh, 10 squared is 100, uh, 7 squared is 49, uh, 2 times minus 3.25 is minus 6.5, times 10 is minus 65 uh, plus 2 times f times 7 so that's plus 14 f is equal to 0 so that means 14 f is equal to minus 84 so f is equal to minus 84 divided by 14 which goes in minus 6 times so now i have c g and f so i can sub them into the formula now uh, so it'll be x squared plus y squared plus two times g so that's uh two times minus 3.25 is minus 6.5 g uh, oh, sorry minus 6.5 uh, x uh, plus 2fy, f was minus 6, so that's minus 12y equal to 0. So it's x squared plus y squared minus 6.5x minus 12y is equal to 0. Now where are the marks going for that? So for this question you're either getting 0, 3, 5, 8, or 10 so zero if you got nothing right your low partial credit for zero uh, for three marks is if you get uh, c equal to zero or uh, one relevant equation in g or f so if you get either this one or this one okay uh, for your mid mid partial credit which is five uh, you need to get two out of these three so if you get two of them right then you you get five marks your high partial credit uh, for eight marks if you get all three of them and then for the full 10 marks you get the equation fully right okay and then on to the very last question this one asks to find the angle bca so if i have a let's say a was zero zero so there's a uh, zero zero B is 6.50, so that's B, 6.50, and C is 10.7, so that's C. I want the angle 
BCA, which is this angle here. Let's call that theta. So to find the angle between two lines, I need the slope of two lines. So if I find the slope from A to C and the slope from B to C, then I can use my, uh, my formula to get the angle between two lines. So the slope uh, of A, C. So A was 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, and B, or sorry, C, was 10, 7. So slope of AC, uh, y2 minus y1, so that's 7 minus 0 is 7, over x2 minus x1, 10 minus 0, which is 10, so it's 10 over 7. Then the slope of um, the other one then, BC, uh, there's C again, B was 6.5. Five, zero. So y2 minus y1, so that's 7, over x2 minus x1, so 10 minus 6.5 is 3.5, so 7 divided by 3.5 is 2. So we have the slope of AC of 7 over 10, slope of BC of, as 2, and then we use our formula, a tan of theta is equal to, uh, it's this one here, it's plus or minus m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 times m2. So we can sub that in, uh, m1 is 7 over 10 minus m2, so minus 2 over 1 plus m1, again is 7 over 10, and m2 is 2. So working through that, uh, that gives you a plus or minus, so that's equal to plus or minus, uh, minus 13 over 24, sorry, 24. So if you go, go to your calculator, tan inverse of minus 13 over 24, and we're looking for an acute angle when we do that. So that's where the plus or minus comes into it. So, um, inverse tan of 13 over 24. So if this is an acute angle, then it's the right answer. And it's 28.44, so theta is equal to 28.44 uh, degrees. Um, if you were to cha change it to the minus, you won't get um, your you get minus 28. So it's, it's obviously it's a positive angle. So we take the, the positive value of it uh, to get that. So for this question, the marks were either 0, 6, 9, or 15. So zero marks if you didn't get anything. Your low partial credit, six marks for getting either one of the slopes. So seven over 10 or two. Uh, your nine out of 10 was uh, full substitution into this here, so that'd be uh, getting a minimum of that, and then your 15 marks were for getting the full correct answer there. Okay, so in total, that is marked out of 75 marks, so put your marks over 75 um, to see what your percentage is. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.